Welcome back to the East Circuit and thank you so much for always tuning in, man. The roof is on fire. <laughs> Courtesy of the one and only DJ Nesh K. And you can send in your comments and remember, this time we're only playing Kenyan music. We are keeping it Kenyan. Ukitaka zile za sijui tu ngapi, ukitaka za genge tone yeme drop jana, you will find it right here. I am Eve Nyage and right about now in studio, I have young people who are so passionate about film and they are tire tirelessly tirelessly campaigning for artists to have freedom to express themselves and their creativity. In studio with me, Apa to Karibu Namimi, I have Kenneth Kigunda, who is the PR and communications consultant at Freedom of Freedom of Expressions campaign. Then I have um, Wanja Emily, who is the impact producer for the film Thank You for the Rain. And then I have the lovely Cindy Mbai, who is the programs manager of Good Pitch Kenya. Welcome to the studio. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd like you to introduce yourself yeah. and tell us a bit more about um, yeah. this campaign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my name is Ken Kigunda, as you said, mm -hmm. um, the communication and PR consultants for mm -hmm. freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're trying to do is to advance uh, the conversation about us having artistic freedom, yes. allowing artists, mm -hmm. and even it, to doing this is to make sure that we get a freer space for mm -hmm. people to be able to tell their stories. Mm -hmm. We are saying, uh, what we, we are really saying is about when a child comes mm -hmm. to the world, mm -hmm. the first thing they do is to cry. Yes. So this means they have already expressed themselves mm -hmm. and they're saying, I'm here, hey, listen to me. And that's their right. Yeah. So so what we are saying, you cannot deny that child mm -hmm. or the person who wants to, you know, express themselves mm -hmm. that freedom to do that. Yes. The good thing is that the constitution that mm -hmm. we have, mm -hmm. that we voted for back in 2010, mm -hmm. uh, really gives us that freedom yeah, of freedom expression. Mm -hmm. And mostly uh, in Africa, we come from a, a society rather that tells uh, stories. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, historically, we always used to express ourselves through stories. Mm -hmm. But over and over time, we have seen this being curtailed mm -hmm. by some Sharia's that we have or yes. laws that we have mm -hmm. which are we'll colonial about that. Uh, under, we'll be talking about that yes. maybe later uh -huh. yeah. okay sure. and um kindly introduce yourself and tell us a bit about Good Pitch Kenya, Cindy. Okay, so um, as you've said, my name is Cindy Mbae mm -hmm. and I am the programs uh, manager of Good Pitch Kenya 2020. Mm -hmm. And Good Pitch is a live event yeah. that brings together documentary filmmakers mm -hmm. and um, world uh, change makers yeah. around issues of social uh, and environmental mm -hmm, issues. Mm -hmm. And once these people are brought together, then it's for the good of the film mm -hmm. and, and for the good of the society. Yes. So we work and we have a call for documentary filmmakers mm -hmm. who are working on real issues mm -hmm. and issues that are um, or handling mm -hmm. um, and, and dealing with uh, social and environmental issues yeah. that we we take on those films. We, mm -hmm. we have a call for application that is going on right now mm -hmm. and it closes on 29th mm -hmm. of February. Mm -hmm. And once we receive those films, then we select six films mm -hmm. that are going to go through the Good Pitch program. Mm -hmm. And through this Good Pitch program, then there, there are um, mentorship and mm -hmm. there is um, work that goes in and in, in impact labs that will shape these films mm -hmm. into dealing with um, in, into being the presented issues. into mm -hmm. a way that they're going to deal with and, and, and tackle these impact um, social impact issues okay. so um, I, I think we will be talking a little bit more yes, about we'll how it works more, yes, yeah definitely. so I'll, I'll Kindly Wanja. introduce yourself, Wanja. Yeah, mm -hmm. so my name is uh, Emily Wanja. Mm -hmm. I am the current um, East Africa Impact Producer mm -hmm. for a documentary called Thank You for mm -hmm. the Rain. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, as Cindy says, mm -hmm. uh, this film, yeah. Thank You for the Rain, is a, a good pitch film. Mm -hmm. The good pitch that happened in 2016, because mm -hmm. that was the first time it happened. Yeah. And it was among the six mm -hmm. well, that the had six been that selected, selected yeah. yes, uh -huh. uh, from across Africa. Yeah. And this was so good because mm -hmm. it's a Kenyan film. Mm -hmm. So it's what you call a co-production. Mm -hmm. It's a Kenya and Norway and mm -hmm. a UK co-production. But okay. it's more than that, it's a Kenyan story. Yeah. And it's a film about a small-scale farmer, mm -hmm. Anaitwa Kisulumusia, mm -hmm. from a place in Aitwa Mutomo, yeah. in Kitui County. Mm -hmm. And this film is, tackles the issue of climate change. Mm -hmm. And it's a question of 
what does climate change mean yeah. on a personal level? Tunasema mambo ya climate change tumekuwa tukiongea for a long time. For a long time. Yeah, sure. Na a lot of times mm -hmm. watu wanaona hii kitu ni topic ya conferences, ni yeah. topic tunasoma kwa gazeti. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know a lot of ma reading material mm -hmm. on climate change mm -hmm. lakini uki translate into mm -hmm. your personal level mm -hmm. and how it affects you. Ama kwa life ya mm -hmm. watu wetu wa go kwa mm -hmm. chosho yangu. What does it mean? Yeah. And so this film followed Kisilu, mm -hmm. the small scale farmer for five years. Mm -hmm. The climate actually may change. Mm -hmm. What it means is that the seasons have changed. Yeah. The patterns of rain have sure. changed. Kukirain mm -hmm. kuna floods. Mm -hmm. When it's hot, in kuna, time. kuna drought. Mm -hmm. And what it means is that mm -hmm. what most of our farmers have traditionally relied yeah. on, which is traditional knowledge, mm -hmm. is no longer working. Yes. And this is because of climate change. Mm -hmm. So that means in our chawakiwa nini vulnerable yes. to effects of climate mm -hmm. change. And this essentially leads to food security and mm -hmm. just financial yeah. security. Mm -hmm. And so over five years, mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. Kisilu Musia, this man, this mm -hmm. incredible man, mm -hmm. rise from a small scale farmer yeah. to a father who is trying to understand what's going on with climate, mm -hmm. to a community leader, mm -hmm. to a climate change activist. Yes. And he goes all the way to Paris in COP21 mm -hmm. to represent voices of farmers like mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. on a global scale. Yeah. And so the film is done. And and it's out mm -hmm. and it's accessible I'm gonna be saying later yes. how you can access it <laughs> and what we've managed to do so far with it yes. yeah and that is why today we'll be talking about artistic um, freedom of expression yeah. so that we can get to hear more stories like that yeah. and bring them to the world yeah. so um, in a few words could you yeah. kindly tell our audience what yeah. we mean by artistic freedom of expression well artistic, uh, artistic freedom of expression is whereby we say Ukiwa ni imagination. Mm -hmm. This is how I, I draw my world. Yes. And I want to tell you, this is how my world mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So I, I, my imagination cannot be ima imagination. Mm -hmm. And how you draw your world cannot be how I will draw my world. Sure. So what we ask is for everyone to respect that freedom of, of artistic freedom, to mm -hmm. allow each and every artist to draw their own world mm -hmm. and tell their story mm -hmm. uh, like no other person can tell. Yes. Because we are seeing... Um, an artist has that advantage mm -hmm. of uh, being in a country that is democratic, mm -hmm. a country that allows freedom of expression, that is enshrined yeah. in our constitution. Sure. It's the right. It's a right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, a, right. It's, mm -hmm. it's something inherent. Yes. So you cannot be able to be. It's something born with. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, we are saying then there. Are, of course, there are limits. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, again, we know once we allow these limits, once we allow the containment, which mm -hmm. can be from any authority, mm -hmm. then again we won't. Be, uh, we will be curbing in the creativity. Yes. So creativity is mm -hmm. just how you imagine the world mm -hmm. and how you navigate around that world mm -hmm. and how you want to bring change in that world. Mm -hmm. So in, in a nutshell, that's mm -hmm. what we call artistic freedom, freedom of, of expression. Et, et, sure. uh, of expression mm -hmm. yeah. So according to the law, yeah. um, when it comes to filmmakers, yeah. what are some of the freedoms that mm. they, ha they have been given? What mm. are some of the things that they enjoy mm. when it comes to them being creative? Uh, at least um, here in the country that we are right mm -hmm. now today, you ca you're able to imagine, you're able to go and shoot a movie, you're mm -hmm. able to go and uh, create a script, you're mm -hmm. able to enjoy those freedoms that are already in the constitution that are guaranteed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also if, if you look at the film uh, and stage play act, mm -hmm. also there are those uh, laws that allow a filmmaker to be able to progress from one area to another. Yeah. For example, the government has made it very easy and recently they even passed a law that allows filmmakers mm -hmm. incentives yes. to be able to to make film films anyway. again and yeah. there was a time even th there were incentives for equipment mm -hmm. so they can be able to advance uh, the creativity of these stories so we live uh, to be honest in a country that we are today it's mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a society that accepts mm -hmm. so many ideas now it's open to mm -hmm. uh, so many ideas yeah. and these are the enjoyment that we get because uh, mm -hmm. we decided to have a, co a very progressive constitution yes. and a law mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. and um, looking at maybe the negative side what are yeah. some of the things that they are being denied yeah. that are holding them back from yeah. being creative and taking yeah. our stories out to the world. Yeah. Again, I'll go back to the film act, uh, film and stage play act, yeah. CAP 222, mm -hmm. or in the F Kenya Film uh, Classification Board laws that uh, govern uh, the CAP 222. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at some of the act, like uh, acts, um, section six of the of the act it mm -hmm. says you must have a license mm -hmm. again there are those young people they are creatives yes. mm -hmm. maybe no they budgets. don't uh, 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 license, mm -hmm. but because they need that to be able to produce a movie mm -hmm. then their ideas and their stories are uh, die from that particular point yeah. at another section it says mm -hmm. you must have a police 
pale kwa set. Yeah, yeah. Ukienda ku shoot, but they most Kenya do not know that. Yeah, Ukienda ku shoot absolutely. any film, mm -hmm. you must have a police at the set. Mm -hmm. And this police or mm -hmm. this authority of of equal measures mm -hmm. can be able to stop that film or that uh, uh, filming of that whatever um, creativity yeah, you're doing, you're doing work yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, with that he, he doesn't give you any guidelines. He doesn't tell you why they are stopping. They say, "Hey, this Just is so. harming. It's it's harmful mm -hmm. to people's. Uh, it's harmful to people's." Um, to other people mm -hmm. and so you're, you're gonna stop it mm -hmm. and you know that's a limitation by itself because again sure. when you go back to chapter 3 uh, 33 of the constitution mm -hmm. again it says for freedom of expression it mm -hmm. says unless you're causing a harm on on a person's yeah. body mm -hmm. then you can stop uh, but again these ideas they are only imagination they yeah. really don't cause yes, harmful, harm, uh, harm sure. to, to someone so uh, and you look at that um, in that licensing they can deny you license licenses yeah. at any particular point and they are really they, they are not even allowed to describe uh, into details mm -hmm. why but they have denied, they denied you that license. particular license so these are some of the things that we're saying they must be repealed mm -hmm. for us to be able to progress mm -hmm. and to tell the stories uh, in a freer uh, space and to allow the creativity uh, of uh, our young people wale vijana pale kwa mta wale filmmakers wana feel to make easy films waweze kwenda without easy curtailment nyingi tuko nazo so that they can tell their story mm -hmm. and they can advance uh, our african stories to the world and if at all ukiangalia uh, movie kama Thank you for the rain. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if we can get an easy way to produce so many movies of that kind, mm -hmm. then you can see the impact that we can really make. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that film already has brought a dam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those people now can access okay. water. Mm -hmm. Those people now can farm. Those mm -hmm. people can, uh, I mean, it has catered for food security for mm -hmm. that particular community. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine if someone else wants to speak about an, a different type of uh, idea Issue. or imagination they have there, yeah. and then again they are given more space. Mm -hmm. uh, these laws are changed in a way that they can be able to go without an armed policeman. Yeah, and I'm a policeman, the licenses, mama, the licenses, the li yeah. um, lazima uki change script, ata kiti, kumuvi kiti kwa yeah, set, lazima weke pale. You have to take you. back again the script mm -hmm. uh, to KFCB yeah. for them to be able mm -hmm. to allow you to move to that set. That, yes. So uh, I, that's what are some of the laws that we're really saying they need to be looked mm -hmm. at, they need to be changed mm -hmm. for us to be in, uh, to in tandem with the constitution mm -hmm. of this country yeah. that we have. Just recently also there was, there's also another law that's, um, they are introducing that about the drones. Yeah. You know, drones are very effective when it comes to showing good sceneries. Yeah. But also that, I think it's also an issue that it's holding back creatives yeah. as much as we are talking about um, the, the filmmakers from Mashinani. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can get Sharia Zingine and the world we are living today. We are in a progressive world where technology is advancing every day. Sure. Every single day. We can get the camera we used to use back mm -hmm. in the 1990s <laughs> and the one we are using right now. Things have changed. Change. People are filming using their phone mm -hmm. and this phone, I mean, the YouTube clips are winning millions mm -hmm. and millions of viewers and earning money for these young people. Yes. So the moment we say at Weze Kubali technology come a drone mm -hmm. because of security purposes, we really need to go delve deep, deep and say, how then can we handle this security mm -hmm. issue rather than, you know, capping and saying, yeah. no, uh, you can't, uh, use, you can't use a drone and mm -hmm. you have to use a drone, you have to go to this authority. Again, mm -hmm. we are bringing bureaucracy uh, to film to a space that is a creative and space. And it's a long process. And it's a long process. But <laughs> the a time process that, that costs you money. Upewa, that and it's it's expensive yeah. again to get even that license. Yes. To bring it to Kenya, it costs you around. I think mm -hmm. right now I'm not so sure about the figures, but it's mm -hmm. close to two hundred thousand shillings. And this is a person who is working with the budget yeah. of fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. And yet you're, you're expected to compete with Nigeria, mm -hmm. Nollywood. Mm -hmm. You're expected to compete with Bollywood. You're mm -hmm. expected to compete with Hollywood. Hollywood sure. So uh, mm -hmm. in short, we really need some change. Yes. Yeah. And um, Cindy, do you think that filmmakers should be granted total freedom? when it comes to producing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, and, and this will be now circling back to what, what Good Pitch does. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, what we do is we stand in solidarity with independent filmmakers mm -hmm. and we work to protect their independence. Mm -hmm. And by this then, um, we know documentaries deal with real issues. Mm -hmm. You know, the current, mm -hmm. current, um, current issues. issues that mm -hmm. are with, within this time that we are at, at the moment. Yes. So when, when we have these issues and we have filmmakers who already are 
um, I've seen what the gaps are and I've seen that there's a certain issue that is happening within their communities mm -hmm. and they have that passion to go ahead and, and start filming and start uh, working on something so that you can show the entire world mm -hmm. that this, this issue is going on yeah. in, at this particular point, mm -hmm. then you, you give them that um, freedom to express what it is that, mm -hmm. and, and what the issue is and to present it as it is. Yes. So with Good Pitch then we put out a call mm -hmm. and we tell these filmmakers that if you have these films that mm -hmm. you've been working on, mm -hmm. if you have um, been following a certain story that is within East Africa, because at the moment right now we are focusing on East, East African Africa, stories yeah. mm -hmm. and, and that are revolving around social and environmental issues, mm -hmm. then you send in your application. Mm -hmm. And the applications are open, as I mentioned earlier, until yeah. the 29th of February. 29th, yeah, okay. And then after that, then these applications go through a, a sifting process and mm -hmm. we pick six films yes, out six. of that. Mm -hmm. And then these six films then go through the impact, um, uh, the good pitch process. Mm -hmm. And I'll give an example of what happened in 2016, because that's mm -hmm. when we had the first Good Pitch Kenya mm -hmm. um, yeah, event, in, event uh, yeah. that happened. And it, 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 it took place at the, at the Kenya National uh, Theatre. Mm -hmm. And we had um, these six filmmakers pitch mm -hmm. their stories to a group of around 269 individuals from 13 countries okay. and 161 organizations. Mm -hmm. And these audiences had come in mm -hmm. to lend their support, support to these powerful films. Yeah. And, and their support comes in in form of funding, in form of connections, in yes. form of the doors that they open mm -hmm. um, to these filmmakers and policy makers. You know, mm -hmm. they give introductions um, to various angles that they will make these films achieve the impact that they are yeah, intended yes. for uh -huh. and and as Wanja is one of the <laughs> impact producers of the film that um, was a part of the good pitch then from that you're able to see how the film picks up and, mm -hmm. and how it's able to impact the community, yeah, the community and large. we had four films from mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. and one film from South Africa and mm -hmm. another one from Sierra Leone mm -hmm. and through all these films mm -hmm. then they've, they've, they've created a community and, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is only not just coming from filmmakers it's coming from organizations it's coming from foundations it's coming from NGOs it's coming from the media it's coming from you know various sectors of the civil society yeah. to support and, 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 and to bring in um, the, their, their to come in in whatever mm -hmm. capacity that they bring in yes. to make sure that this film then brings impact the impact somebody, yes. into the society. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, Thank You for the Rain is one of the films that was selected among the six. Maybe could you tell us what are some of the issues that you faced when producing that particular film when it comes to limitations? Mm. Yeah. Just going back to something that Ken mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna, you know, pick up on where Cindy left. So, you know, this is the issue of of social issues, mm -hmm. social change, and culture. A lot of times, like we're talking about climate change, we're talking about environment, mm -hmm. and sometimes that could be seen mm -hmm. as a, a safe topic. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's not necessarily depending on the angle that you take. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily a topic that's going to cause controversy. Yeah. A trouble starts mm -hmm. when. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dicey topic or a very contentious issue mm -hmm. where people are very passionate about or mm -hmm. maybe it's not very clear the legislation on it or the policies around it mm -hmm. and so or where you have a lot of opinion um, around it and then that starts you know getting the kind of uh, buzz that yeah, uh, Ken was talking about. Yeah. So for us it wasn't so much of resistance in mm -hmm. that sense mm -hmm. but it, it is resistance and I don't know if I would call it resistance, it's probably just a challenge mm -hmm. that you have to work through. In just talking about the issue itself, where now you're using storytelling mm -hmm. to try and humanize, mm -hmm. sometimes like a hard topic, yeah. like a scientific sort of factual topic. Yes. And you want to put that in a simple way mm -hmm. as possible, yeah. where anybody can relate to it and understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think this is then where we come in with the issue of storytelling mm -hmm. and the kind of films that Cindy's talking about, mm -hmm. Good Pitch supporting. Yeah. Because these are films that when they are made and when they are done mm -hmm. they are dealing with such issues that when they are screened mm -hmm. you see the power mm -hmm. of film because storytelling cuts across all the demo like demographies like it cuts across age yeah. education mm -hmm. social economic background mm -hmm. because it speaks one language and that's the language of empathy yes. this is the language of humanity mm -hmm. and when we're there watching and feeling what we are feeling mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where we're coming from yes. right we're just we're touching the way that we are yeah. and somehow mm -hmm. we're maybe compelled 
to go and do something. And so when you're compelled to do something that we are saying, this is where now we need to create and be deliberate yeah. about using these films as tools mm -hmm. to drive change, yes. to create impact, mm -hmm. because we have seen how powerful mm -hmm. storytelling is. And so with, thank you for the rain, for example, what Ken was saying earlier, so what we did, it went through the usual, you know, we got a distributor with mm -hmm. the film which was great and it screened all over the world and that has been amazing. Mm -hmm. And we have, even during Good Pitch, received such amazing support. Yeah. And so when you talk about film, you're talking about its power mm -hmm. to drive change, then you're also talking about its power to convene. Yeah. And you have like journalists, you have people from the corporate sector, civil society, people from the advocacy field, and we are saying that much as we look like we're different, mm -hmm. we actually have so much in common, Come together, yeah. right? Yeah. We are, we're on the same side. Yes. We want to advance humanity, things. right? Yeah. And bring certain kind of change. Mm -hmm. And film, like single-handedly, is able to converge yeah. that diverse true. you know, group of people. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly what happened with the film. We got so much support on mm -hmm. the day. And so we're like, right. So now we can see that this, this tool is really powerful and we can use it. Mm -hmm. But where do we start? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Because we are, we, I'm going to ignore that. Mm -hmm. So because we are, <laughs> we're back in the light, yeah. we, we are filmmakers mm -hmm. and we need to talk about climate change and get it right. Mm -hmm. But we are not experts in that field. Yes. And then we realize, you know what, we don't mm -hmm. need to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is go back, tap at some of the people that came for good pitch and mm -hmm. say, what, what's the work that you're already doing yeah. on the ground? How can we collaborate? Mm -hmm. How can we form alliances mm -hmm. and partnerships that are going to help us advance the message? Yes. And so we started with the community because mm -hmm. again this impact is all about the people mm -hmm. it's the people yeah who are driving who are affected who are at the forefront yeah, of sure. some of these issues and so we went back to the community led by Kisilu mm -hmm. back in Mutomo mm -hmm. and we're saying what can we do how can we use this film to bring some kind of change mm -hmm. and so the impact campaign that we crafted mm -hmm. was together with the community mm -hmm. and we divided into three levels yeah. where we have things that are happening on the ground we mm -hmm. call them community engagement mm -hmm. and this is how then mm -hmm. the dam came about okay. this is an earth dam mm -hmm. it's about 35,450 cubic meter it means that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this dam first of all mm -hmm. we did it in april was it last year april? last year i love who was kunyasha so akukwa na maji it was just then we couldn't do anything yeah and so last deck vile kumenyasha sasa imeja so it means that sasile sasa na kutakuwa na drought mm -hmm. the community you know, are going to be able to use this yeah. to agricultural like activities it's going to be like a say what do you call it like a financial sort of ecosystem for yes. them so that's on the community level. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we have what we call the advocacy level. Mm -hmm. If you film to nice screen, mm -hmm. to nice screen for communities in what we call the arid and semi-arid lands. Mm -hmm. And we're also screening it in schools. Yeah. Again, to not partner na organizations is go to ground, CBOs, community mm -hmm. organizations, na shule. Kwanza when you na environment clubs, mm -hmm. we are going to be screen yeah, schools, yeah. high schools, mm -hmm. not primary schools. Mm -hmm. So again to na partner na wao, mm -hmm. uh, to na okay, how they help us mobilize and bring the right people in the room yeah. to have a good discussion. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, which is very important, mm -hmm. is getting our stories out there. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Because is it stories to nafanya, si ze to pekeetu. Yeah. Whatever you're struggling with, mm -hmm. come any heartbreak, mm -hmm. come any stress, it's, it's, hu it's humanity, yeah. it's human issues. Yeah. So, mtu mungina na iwa tsuju akiwa Nigeria, mtu mungina na iwa tsuju akiwa wapi, and a relationship issue. They yeah. feel, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, we have that component where we're trying to make sure that Kisilu, who is an amazing ambassador of the film, even globally, mm -hmm. he gets a platform to talk about it on these global spaces mm -hmm. to represent communities. So, ni kusemaji, mm -hmm. kama unafanya yo story, for example, apply for a good people. Mm -hmm. it, it's a end up. Mm -hmm. It's a platform. Mm -hmm. It's an opening. So it grows you. It grows you. Just not you as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. but it also has a general impact to the society. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And okay. we're doing that together, mm -hmm. right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and um, when it comes to artists being free yeah. to express their creativity, yeah. where do we draw the line between all these issues that you're talking about? controversial issues because for example um, the time the film Rafiki was banned and I want to quote um, a tweet that Dr. Ezekiel Mutua used um, the debate on Rafiki is not about freedom it's about essential values the hula baloo about artistic freedom is a decoy the big agenda is to corrupt our culture and our moral values to kill the institution of family so 
how do we draw this line between morality and creativity? Well, uh, what we should know is that where your rights begins, mm -hmm. uh, or your, where your rights end, someone mm -hmm. else's rights begins. Yes. So uh, you cannot infringe on my rights mm -hmm. because you feel you as uh, the bigger rights than mine. Yeah. So uh, all rights are equal, mm -hmm. and everyone has to tell their story. Yes. And always this moral moral issue is always brought into picture mm -hmm. just to curtail on someone else's right. Mm -hmm. But what we what we call moral, mm -hmm. and how can we define moral? Mm -hmm. So we need to go deep and see. Uh, then when you say this is a moral issue, then um, this is someone telling their imagination, their mm -hmm. story in a happy way. Yeah. Uh, you cannot say that story to end in a remorseful way because mm -hmm. the issue was uh, the movie was okay yes. and it was allowed and everything went through until mm -hmm. the end when he came and said, oh, you have to make this ending mm -hmm. uh, a very remorseful one. Yeah. But st African stories are happy stories yes. and they need to be told the way they are. Mm -hmm. and they, That's what in the society, it's a reflection of what's happening in the society. Mm -hmm. So uh, the moral issue should be handled at another level mm -hmm. and the creativity level should be handled at another level. Because mm -hmm. freedom of expression cuts across, even journalists, yeah. people like you, um, DJs, mm -hmm. Uh, filmmakers, we are all affected by freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. And the moment we allow someone else's freedom of expression to be curtailed, mm -hmm. you was too will be curtailed. Mm -hmm. So uh, because you say, oh, this one should not go, the next thing it will be, oh, even you as, mm -hmm. we should really yeah, limit it. Way. All these are well documented in the constitution. So mm -hmm. we have a very beautiful document. Why don't we use it? Mm -hmm. Why don't we implement it? Yes. All these issues we talk about, they are all catered mm -hmm. in for in the constitution yeah. so uh, well we are still in court uh, the judgment is coming yeah, on 26th yeah. of march mm -hmm. so i won't delve much into on the that, case yes. because it's in court mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll talk we'll have a conversation yeah, after we'll the court back. case we'll, we'll be, be back, back after that, that. <laughs> 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 okay so i'm um, cindy i would like you to tell maybe our audience how they can qualify for um the good, good pitch competition yes okay so uh, the call is out mm -hmm. and it went out in January mm -hmm. and the call is for filmmakers, documentary filmmakers mm -hmm. who have their films in advanced advanced stages of production. Mm -hmm. So um, you can go to the DocuBox website mm -hmm. and you will see the portal that will give you um, the guidelines on how to apply. Mm -hmm. But then you need to be an East African um, citizen. Yeah. So we are, we are the East Africa, we are taking four countries mm -hmm. and that is Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania mm -hmm. and Rwanda yeah. for now. Mm -hmm. And the story has to be um, around issues mm -hmm. within East Africa. Yes. Yeah. So the event itself is mm -hmm. going to be in October mm -hmm. uh, this year. And, uh, and, and as much as we are doing a call for filmmakers to apply, mm -hmm. we also need the society and the community. Mm -hmm. and, and as Wanja was pointing out, the people that have been uh, supporting, uh, uh, thank you for the rain, and have, they've worked in partnership, it's mm -hmm. to show that with without the support of the community and without the support of these other organizations, then our work will not be complete. Yes. Because this is what they bring in. They bring in a level of expertise to mm -hmm. the filmmakers. They mm -hmm. bring in their level of, um, knowledge to that and once we pull those resources together then mm -hmm. the film stand out stands out and also the society benefits from that sure yeah. how long should be the film um it's a feature mm -hmm. feature feature, feature film. length mm -hmm. so for the document the documentary filmmakers mm -hmm. will know what a feature length is yes. about it's over about 60 minutes yeah yes. about one hour mm -hmm. yeah okay all right and um what about these other films that since you select six all these other films, what happens to them? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happens to the others? Yeah, I mean, DocuBox. Uh -huh. okay, so just to mention that uh, Good Pitch is hosted by DocuBox uh -huh. and in partnership with Doc Society yeah. and the Kenya Film Commission. Uh -huh. And DocuBox is a documentary film fund. Uh -huh. So submitting your film through the DocuBox portal uh -huh. then p puts it at, at, at the eyes of, 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 of the decision makers or puts it in a community, actually, uh -huh. of documentary filmmakers yeah. that if, even if you don't receive that documentary grant or even if you don't make it to the to the good pitch mm -hmm. event then you're within the pool and and and, and within a community of other documentary mm -hmm. filmmakers mm -hmm. and and from there you do not know where your support 
mm -hmm. will come from or mm -hmm. you do not know how you, you, you're able to shape up yeah. your, your, your story uh -huh. out of that. And I'll give an example of Soft Tea, mm -hmm. which was not a good pitch film, mm -hmm. but then because they were within the, 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 the documentary family, they were within the docu-box space, then it, 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 it went along to achieve great yeah. things and we can see it premiered at yeah. Sundance. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, so okay. it's, it's, being, it's being within that mm -hmm. pool of documentary mm -hmm. film that yeah. uh, Wanja will have a brilliant idea or mm -hmm. Ken will come up with something that will also have conversations that will propel your film yes. um, to move forward. Mm -hmm. So if in... The, uh, if I can just, mm -hmm. just like add on that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it's, and that's, so when Docubox, it's a film fan, but mm -hmm. also they have these training programs mm -hmm. and they have these master classes. Okay. And so even though you don't cut the six, mm -hmm. what she's talking about being exposed to this community is also like exposure to networks. Yes, networking. Where th my, this might not have been your fit, mm -hmm. but there's a lot, there's other funds that do exist. There's other opportunities to collaborate, yeah. mm -hmm. to make your film more viable, to yeah. attract that kind of funding. Mm -hmm. And for you to really figure out how do I really craft my story mm -hmm. so it actually gets made. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so either way, it's a, it's, it, you don't lose mm -hmm. you because don't, you still you gain a lot. You gain a yes. lot, and you you get now to participate in the master classes, mm -hmm. and you get to meet other people also yeah. as well. Because mm -hmm. also, you know, filmmaking sometimes can be a very lonely journey, yeah. and sometimes yeah. it gets yeah, really yeah, it hard. Do. And especially documentary filmmaking and the kind of documentaries that DocuBox supports. Mm -hmm. So having that community is so 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 important. And people who've been through the mm -hmm. DocuBox can tell you, mm -hmm. even just having that community to kind of bounce mm -hmm. off your ideas mm -hmm. and know that. My, my, my documentary is taking this kind of shape mm -hmm. and I know that it's going to see the light of day, that in itself is a win, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Also say maybe to mm -hmm. As uh, we moment, wind up. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the moment you took that step of faith and uh, submitted, oh, you've also won mm -hmm. in some way. Yes. So continue doing the good work and continue looking for these opportunities. You never know when yeah. your door yeah. will open. Okay. So I'd like you guys to share with us your social media pages, maybe yeah. how people can find you. Yeah. Um, submit their films and get in touch with you people. Yeah. Yes, yeah. let's start yeah. with For Ken. Freedom of Expression, mm -hmm. uh, you can find us on Facebook, Freedom of Expression KE. Mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter, we are Freedom KE. Mm -hmm. And also, the hashtag that we use mm -hmm. is Free to Express. Okay, all right. And for Good Pitch, mm -hmm. is hashtag Good Pitch KE 2020. Mm -hmm. And for DocuBox, you can f get on Instagram mm -hmm. at my DocuBox or Twitter, which is DocuBox Docu Docu Film Fund, yes. Okay, yeah. what about you, um, Emily? So for <laughs> us, you can, you can find us, Thank You For The Rain. Yes. Uh, thank You For The Rain on Twitter, Thank You For The Rain on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're currently not on IG. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should explore that. Mm -hmm. But more than you that, should. we should. And <laughs> yeah, our website you should, as well. Yes. If you want to watch the film, mm -hmm. you can, you can um, stream it or even mm -hmm. download from our website. Mm -hmm. Just thank www.thankyoufortherain.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it's just like, what, it's just like 400 bob, really. Yeah. And more than that, what we're saying is that if Come out with a community flani, mm -hmm. or you're watching this from Nairobi, but you know mm -hmm. back home, mm -hmm. what way to they're going through issues. Yes. Kwanza kusha na trailer ni free. End mm -hmm. the trailer kwa YouTube. Chap yeah. chap. Uta yeah. trailer in three minutes. That mm -hmm. could be a very good idea. Yeah. No, no, no. You know what? Mm -hmm. E film na is a screen. Mm -hmm. Ama ona na watu wetu wana need kuwatch e film. Mm -hmm. Ama watu wetu wa county mm -hmm. wana need kuwatch e film. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Mm -hmm. Get in touch with us mm -hmm. on Facebook or Twitter, and let's see how mm -hmm. we can make that screening happen. Yeah. And maybe this kind of conversations happen mm -hmm. because that's what the film is it's there for. Yes. It's available. Mm -hmm. Ama ata kwa ma unataka ku screen kwa shule. Mm -hmm. Yala kujeni kwa shule yetu screen mm -hmm. we've got you <laughs> uh, i would love yeah i would definitely love to collaborate on that yeah. okay so thank you so much guys for coming through we mm -hmm. appreciate um all the information that you've shared yeah. and we hope we'll see more films out there and um yeah more stories out there so in the morning we were asking the question um a gift expensive gifts for that matter important for the relationship important for a relationship e and remember, we will sample the comments much later. And remember, there are tickets up for grabs for um, a movie screening. Um, you can go watch a movie at Anga IMAX, Uko Panari. And boy child, I need to see the best comment for you to get the ticket that I have. And girl child, yes, we'll be sampling those comments much later on. And um, unfortunately, we're running out of time, so I won't get comments that our guests today, but they'll, they'll be telling me and I'll share with you on social media. Yeah, so we're taking a short musical break, but don't you go anywhere. More of the e circuit coming your way. Mm -hmm.